time to do a little update on the RD400. These forks required quite a few updates. The old ones are just way too soft. So uh, here's what I did to try and improve the fork. Um, here you'll see the dampers, the original dampers. I modified the top end of these here. I'll show you a picture shortly. Um, you can see I milled slots, four slots there to match those holes. I drilled out the top in the center there, um, but I wanted to leave, you'll see there's kind of a flat spot here on two sides, and that works really well so that if this jams, this one slides inside the fork and then a bolt comes up from the bottom. And without being able to hang on to this here, when you try and remove that bolt out, sometimes they jam inside and then this just spins. So in order to lock that, you'll see there's a couple of um, flat spots on here. And I was able to retain those by uh, milling this in a different way. So there you can see the tool that I made. It's just, uh, I can't even remember, oh, a 12 millimeter that I cut a slot into and that matches into this here. So I modified it by uh, milling slots in here and then turning this down on the lathe as well as drilling a hole in the top center here. And this is how it's going to work. I made these small little adapters and that one just slides right over top. Pardon me, one-handed. Slides right over top. You can see the finished product there. And then this is the emulator. And there's a few versions of these available. Um, but this was the only way I could make it work. And you'll see that nut on the bottom there. The only way to clear that with this length of spacer I went with, I had to drill a hole in the center of that shaft. But it all fits really nicely together. And uh, well, you can see this is the finished product here. So the next step, I'm going to put on brand new seals, fork seals, I'll put them in. I bought new heavy duty springs. Uh, these are suitable for a person who's about, you know, maybe I think it was 175 pounds or something like that. So they're a lot stiffer than the original springs that were in this bike. So between the springs and then this new damping feature, uh, I think, and I really hope that this is going to work well. I will put it back onto the bike. Here you can see it's a bit of a disaster, but uh, the bike is coming together. I've got the back wheel mounted uh, or tire mounted onto the rim. And then the rest of the bike is coming along. So I hope you like it. More updates to come soon.